Warm up mobility using our best mate, foam roller. These things are fantastic, not to just iron out some of those bumps and sore spots before a workout, but there's some really simple movements that you can do that open up the neural pathways and enhance your range of motion with your movement. So I love this thing, I use him every day. So we're gonna start with a nice simple move because today we're just focusing on upper body with our foam roller. We lie on the roller so it literally runs the length of our spine, our head and neck is totally supported. Our feet are flat on the floor, our lower back is in contact. We start with our hands together and we breathe in. And as we exhale, we go down. As we bring it back, keeping our body in contact. We're just gonna do 10 each side. So we open it up, get the tingles down the arms perhaps. As we open up through the chest, through the bicep, through the front of the arm, through the forearms. We just work back and forward. We keep it on the ground for literally two seconds. We go backwards and forwards, and then we're gonna work more shoulder mobility. So once we've done 10 of those, then one arm goes forward, one arm goes back with the thumb going towards the floor. So like this, and touch, and touch. So with these movements, at no point in time does my lower back, head, or upper back lose contact with the foam roller opening up through my shoulders while engaging my core and getting everything warmed up. We do 10 of those. Then we take our foam roller and we're gonna open up through our upper back. So your lower back naturally curves that way and your upper back will naturally curve the other way. And because we spend a lot of time sitting and in computers and in the car, we need to get those shoulders back and open up our upper back. So I start at the base of my shoulder blades, rest my fingertips on my temples, and I go back with a big deep breath. And it's like I'm doing a crunch. Instead of crunching at my abs, I'm opening up my rib cage and upper back or thoracic spine with every rep. Come in, open up, elbows go back. In, elbows go back. Go in. Once I've done 10 of those, I'm gonna actually roll out my lats, all right? I'm, so I turn onto the side, and from sort of nearly to the bottom of my ribs, I roll right down, and I find the sore spot there, and I roll it out right up under the armpit, roll down, there's another sore spot. So you want to spend a little bit of time on each sore spot. Four or five seconds, rolling it out. There's another one, I roll it out and make sure you do both sides. So from the bottom of the rib cage, roll it up, roll it up, you get really tight right under the armpit there, especially if you've been doing lots of hard training. And we just want to roll out those lumps and bumps, open up our posture, and you find you feel better, and most importantly, you move better when you go to do your workout.